health alert. Doctors and researchers are discovering more and more what's good for the heart is good for the brain. A new study suggests lowering the standard blood pressure target number may prevent dementia. We're going to take a blood pressure. 80-year-old Phyllis Leppard of Salt Lake City needed to get her blood pressure under control. When I got here, my blood pressure was a little out of control. She came to see Dr. Mark Supiano, a geriatrician at the University of Utah Health and at the Salt Lake City VA Hospital. He happened to be involved in a five-year study looking at 8,500 patients 50 and older with a high risk of cardiovascular disease. It suggests that lower is better and really is the first solid evidence we have that what has been shown to be good for the heart is now good for the brain. The randomized clinical trial funded by NIH compared the standard number of 140 systolic rate to the more aggressive target of 120 or below. Systolic blood pressure is the top number that indicates the pressure your blood is exerting when your heart beats. The more intensive treatment to lower their blood pressure to below 120 gave patients a dramatic 19% lower chance of developing memory loss. Preventing dementia and preventing mild cognitive impairment is a big deal. And one Phyllis takes personally. My grandfather had Alzheimer's disease, so I always was a little concerned uh, about that kind of thing. We have been struggling for decades to try to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease and frankly have had no success. So this is the first good news. There's actually hope that we can prevent the development of mild cognitive impairment, which is the doorway into dementia. Phyllis is now on new medication to get to her target range. All right, 121 over 80. Looks good. All right, great. If we can delay the onset of dementia by two years, by the year 2040, 20% 20 fewer people in this country, or 2.2 million fewer people, will have dementia relative to what the current projections are. So the public health implication of this lower or more aggressive blood pressure target is really quite enormous. The results of the study were so promising the trial stopped, but because of more questions remaining about the link to dementia, the Alzheimer's Association has funded research for two more years.